So today we're here with Gresinha Viterbo, very well-known interior designer and architect. Gresinha, tell me a little bit about yourself, how you started, who you are. So I think uh, design is my middle name. <laughs> I was born into the world of design because my mom's an interior designer. She was one of the, um, I think, first interior designers in Portugal, at least international interior designers, working abroad and in the, inside the country. So I was born in this world, uh, I think more than going to play parks, I was going to antique shops <laughs> and uh, traveling to fair, going with her everywhere. It was very natural for me. And then I went to live in London. I was in London for five years, where I majored in um, interior and special design. My first job was in London. Uh, and at some point, beginning 2000, I came back to Portugal. Our headquarters is here. The cu Cabinet of Curiosity was born when we came back. Um, the we'll discover in a minute. Yes. The, so. that the only one in Portugal. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very unique. And uh, and then and now we work from here. So it's made in Portugal. Our team is here. We have a multidisciplinary team, international team. We love our creative minds around us. We support a lot of artisans all over Portugal, so we include them a lot in our projects. I'm known for being very chameleonic, so you can see a very minimalistic project and then you see a completely classic uh, 18th century wow. style palace, you know, um, interpreting lives through design. Right. And that means that I adapt to the client, I adapt to the location, to the, the, the briefing, and then, of course, I try to be a little bit of a disruptive element and also take, take it further. So surprise the client, uh, you know, uh, insert things that aren't expected because that's the point of hiring a professional is having something you wouldn't do yourself. Exactly. I can speak for myself uh, with a real estate. We like to work together with Gracinia because I know that her and her team take very good care of our clients and manage to mold into, she has her own touch, you have your own touch, but they all, you listen to all of our clients and everyone has their unique style. And sometimes clients don't know what they're looking for, but you manage to guide them in the right direction yeah. and, and just put that splash of color, let's say, or, mm -hmm. or pop to it and somebody sees it and goes, wow, I didn't know this is what I was looking for and yes. this is it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Some clients know exactly what they want and I sense that and they, they are very much involved in the project and then some clients really want to be guided and uh, actually they're moving on to another chapter of their life and there's a lot of psychology into it. Exactly. Well, How do you manage that? That's part of psychology. With a lot of dialogue and communication and it's very important to say that my team is very important and they're very experienced each one in their own way. I have uh, an assistant, she's French, she's okay. specialized in color, uh, others are specialized in different areas and we create kind of an orchestra that I think can be very personalized in each project. So it's really, it's like creating music and, and each, each project is a different music. And you can adapt to both contemporary and both classic, as you said, you can go both ways. The Cabinet of Curiosities was really uh, with an intention of disrupting a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't call it a shop, I call it the cabinet. I think people that come in here, they first have to be curious because they have to walk up the yeah, stairs. Tell me a bit about this. <laughs> about it, it's yeah. already going into the psychology, you know. Some people don't want a project, mm -hmm. so they don't go to Viterbo Interior Design, but they come to the Cabinet of Curiosities, which is a shop or a gallery. It's yes. a mix, it's a new concept. Uh, and uh, it's a you, piece of art, uh, it, place, yeah. it's a piece of art. And anyone can interpret it in different ways. You have, you know, from I uh, really enjoy uh, working with galleries and having arts and sculptures or having antiques that I found, mm -hmm. find anywhere where I travel, um, but also creating. And more and more we have uh, Viterbo designs uh, produced by our artisans and oh, our wow. craftspeople. All Portuguese. All, all Portuguese. Okay. So, but I also have Italian, French, you know, all over kind of a little, a little box of treasures where people can get lost and found. So some people get overwhelmed the first time they get here because it's a little bit layer on layer of, you know, of you a curation, but you come, they come back. And so uh, that's the curious thing, the yeah. curious thing. So, you know, they come back and then there's something attracting them again. So you get more. Uh, and they understand that maybe they're discovering things they didn't knew they liked or colors or layers and it's really about this blooming and evolving that humans do all through their lives and interior design also helps people 
through that evolution. So I think it's all connected. I couldn't agree more. Where would you pick some of the materials you choose, the flooring, the where, where do you get that? They're a little bit scattered all over and uh, Portugal. So depending on the regions, you, de you have different types of crafts uh, from ceramics to woods the to tiles, stones. The exactly, the tiles. Also iron mongers mm -hmm. and uh, you know, metal workers, uh, crafts with woods, with all kinds of things, with uh, weaving. You can find that all here then. In all, Portugal. everything. And you have major uh, super uh, brands, uh, Americans, English, French, that are producing here. Okay. So that's a great signal of the quality that can be done as well. So you can actually get everything here in Portugal domestically rather than importing it, saying Italian kitchen or... Of course you can. No, a lot of, of, a, a lot of those are being done here anyway. Uh, or assisted right. with Portuguese crafts. So I think Europe has it all, but Portugal has a lot to oh, contribute exactly. to that quality of craft. Of course. And uh, just to touch up and finish up on these last words, Yosinia, what is your next project coming up that we can be very excited for, apart from all the other beautiful projects you're doing for I'm doing, I'm, I'm, can you share one with us? I'm lucky enough to be doing very exciting projects right now. Okay. So um, I can't say exactly the projects, but we've, we have two very exciting ones in London. Mm -hmm. uh, one in Malaga, oh, very wow. nice one. Uh, and then we're doing such amazing projects in Portugal okay. that in the next few months some will be um, in, in the press. Same. But one of the most recent and exciting ones is with Vanguard Properties. Mm -hmm. uh, so we signed for the second time with them to design the public areas of their new uh, development, development building, which is going to be a spectacular and very, very, very high end. Okay. It's going to break the ceiling in, in, in Lisbon Amazing. with a high end uh, developing. And I think that's what we were, we're looking for a lot is developments. I say this again and again, having the high end finishings yeah. and materials, that's what makes a difference. And it with is. all these developments coming up right now. Definitely. So it's very exciting right now. Can't wait. Congratulations and thank you for thank being here. Thank you for coming, Alex. Thank you. Bye.